Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today I am bringing you another create and chat video which is where I answer your questions while showing you a piece of art that I'm currently working on in almost real time. So I'm going to get straight into the questions for this video and the first question here is from 3D Art and they've asked what camera do you use and what program do you use to do your voiceovers? Uh, the camera that I have is a Canon 600D. I think it's also known as the Canon T3i. And I use that one for pretty much all of my art videos and sometimes when I'm like sitting down in front of the camera. Um, I also have um, a vlogging camera, that's the Canon G7X, but I don't use that for um, any of my art videos. And for my voiceovers, um, it's not really about the program, it's more about the microphone. So I just do my voiceovers in iMovie because I have a voice recording um, tool and you can actually select um, which microphone you want to record from. And the microphone that I have is a Blue Yeti microphone. It's just like a USB plug-in one. It's super easy to use and it's really good quality. Um, and yeah. Uh, the next question is from Casey and they've asked, do you feel as though going to uni was worth it and if it helped you explore, find your art style? Thank you for answering my question in this video, by the way. I love all your content. Thank you. Um, yes, I definitely think going to uni was worth it for me. And, you know, it's definitely not necessary for everybody to go to uni or art school. Um, and you don't have to go to become, you know, an amazing or successful artist. Um, but I definitely think it was worth it for me. It was kind of like the perfect timing um, in my life. And... Yeah, I do want to make a video in the future kind of talking more about my art school experience and like what I did and what I thought of it and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely think it helped me find my art style. Like, I feel like what I make now is slightly different to what I made at uni, but I'm definitely taking elements from my university work um, and yeah, you know, I probably wouldn't be making the art that I am today if I hadn't gone to uni. So yeah, um, I really enjoyed university and I think it was really beneficial for me. Uh, the next question is from JNBHD and they've asked, what kind of music do you listen to and do you listen to music while drawing slash painting? Yes, I do listen to music when I'm creating art. Um, sometimes I will listen to an audiobook, but if I kind of want to, you know, just have something on the background that I don't have to really focus on too much, I will definitely put on music. And the type of music that I listen to really depends. Like, I'm the kind of person that likes most genres of music. It just depends if I like you know, particular songs and that kind of thing. Um, you know, a lot of the, my, I guess my favorite music genre would be kind of like pop punk. Um, and my favorite musicians and bands would be uh, the Veronica's, Panic at the Disco, The Pretty Reckless, Melanie Martinez. Um, and then there's like tons more that I, can't really think of right now, but um, another band that I've been listening to a lot lately is Palais Royale. Their album came out like probably like a bit over a month ago, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but then sometimes I will listen to um, like movie or video game soundtracks when I'm creating art. Um, I really love like the soundtracks to the Studio Ghibli movies um, and also I've got like soundtracks to like Zelda games and all that kind of stuff so sometimes I like to listen to like that type of music. The next question is from Guoda G and they've asked why did you start a new channel? 
I used to watch you in your older channel and I'm just curious why you made another. So I actually made a video a few weeks ago explaining this whole situation. Um, so if you want to know why I stopped using my old channel and why I'm probably going to start using it again, um, you should definitely check out that video. I will link it um, on this video. Although because this video is pre-recorded and it's not going to be up until a couple of weeks time, I might forget to link it. So if it's not linked when this video goes up, please comment and let me know that it isn't. And I will try my best to link you guys to the other video. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a little bit confusing. Um, and yeah, I'm actually like probably going to start using that channel again soon because things got fixed and all that kind of stuff but like I said I will explain it in that other video so if you want to know what happened and that kind of thing you should go check that out. The next question is from Alex Wilmot and they've asked would you ever consider drawing some of your subscribers? Maybe use them for inspiration for your stylized work? Um, and uh, actually I used to do a series called Draw My Followers and I would pick um, selfies or photos of you guys from Instagram and I would draw you and back then I was making it kind of like a monthly thing and at first I enjoyed it but then after a while I didn't because I don't know I didn't like the fact that I, I felt like I had to upload those videos every month. Um, but I am considering maybe doing something similar again um, once I get back from my holiday. Um, it'll be kind of different and you'll have to probably do different things but yeah I'd kind of make it so that I wouldn't you know have to do them every month. It would be just you know like I could just do it whenever I felt like it which I think I would prefer. So yes I might do that again in the future. And they've also got a second question and it is are you planning on incorporating other materials into your paintings other than glitter your glitter paintings really stand out I saw someone painting with liquid gold leaf which was cool um, I actually have used other materials in my paintings in the past um, I have some paintings where I actually glued on um, some fake pearls and in one of my recent paintings um, the girl that has kind of like the gold hair uh, for that painting I actually put down some gold paint before the glitter um, and I have seen like artists using like gold liquid and that kind of thing and it looks really cool so I'm, I'm definitely open to using kind of other things like that um, but I really do like my glitter I think it's um, quite unique. I don't really know any other artists that use it like I do. Um, um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to stick with the glitter, but um, I'm not going to say no to trying new things either. And the next question is from Drew Ritchie and they've asked, what is the easiest style or objects slash themes to start drawing for a beginner? Um, Hmm. I would probably say still life. <laughs> um, I feel like that's kind of like a very standard thing to start drawing um, when you're just a beginner because they're pretty basic, obviously like a simple still life. Um, and they're very still, so they're not going to move or anything. Um, yeah, I mean, since I've been like drawing since I could um, you know when I was little I would just you know draw what I was interested in I used to draw like a lot of horses and sea life when I was younger um, and also I, I kind of had to draw certain things because of you know artwork that we're making at school so yeah I kind of I haven't had to be a beginner now that I'm older like my beginner stages when I was really young so yeah I would say um, still lifes and really focus on trying to draw 
like what you see rather than what you think you see and just trying to draw as accurately as possible. I think once you know how to draw things realistically, it's going to be much easier to stylize things if that's what you want to do. So yeah, hopefully that uh, somewhat helps. Um, and then I've got a question from Dylan Davies and they've asked, what's that black pen you're using? Um, I can't remember what video was uh, before this one. Um, oh wait, no, it was my self-portrait. Uh, the black ink pen that I'm using in that video is the Pentel brush pen and I'm also using it in this video right here. It's pretty much like the, the main inking pen that I use in like all of my ink drawings and paintings, that kind of thing. Um, and I've got a question here from Wolfie and they've asked, how do I find my style and can you do tutorials to do eyes and lips? Um, finding your style, I think it's a matter of kind of looking at other artists that you really like and what styles you like and maybe practicing those styles but then kind of incorporating lots of styles together if that makes sense um, but in saying that I wouldn't worry too much about finding your style just create create art and it'll kind of come naturally uh, I know sometimes I'm like you know I feel like I don't have a style and I need to find my style but um, I think I've somewhat found my style more recently and you know in the past couple of months I've just been creating art and I haven't been thinking too much about it and I feel like that's kind of been the point where I actually feel like I have a style so yeah I wouldn't worry too much about it just create art that you like and it'll kind of come naturally and can I do tutorials on eyes and lips and yes I am planning on doing some how I draw eyes and how I draw lips tutorials um, but I probably will be uploading them sometime after I get back from my holiday. Um, and I've got a question here from CC Gomez and they've asked would you recommend the Pentel brush pen and is it refillable? Yes I would definitely recommend it. I have used it so much since I got it probably about a year ago now um, and yes it is refillable. It's definitely not the most like eco-friendly um, ink you know it's probably a lot better to get like a jar of ink and use it that way but um, I don't know this pen is just really portable and it's just super easy to use so I definitely recommend it. Um, yeah. And I've got a question here from Katie and they've asked, this might be an odd question, but do you think you could do a nose tutorial? And they say they've been struggling with it. Um, like I said, yes, I do plan on doing some um, tutorials on how to draw specific things. Um, but, you know, sometime when I get back from my holiday. And the next question is from Gaming with Derpy Cow 12 and they've asked when did you start taking art seriously? And I think when I was around I think I was 16, 17, or maybe even 15, kind of like my mid teens, um, I really got into like digital painting and that kind of thing and that was kind of like around the time when I decided that I wanted to be an artist and you know, that I wanted it to be my career. Um, yeah. And then I've got a question here from Madison and they've asked, have you ever had an art teacher that you didn't like? And if so, how did you cope? Um, I haven't really had any bad experiences with art teachers. Um, obviously there's some that I liked more than others, but nothing too horrible. Um, although I did have a teacher in my third year at uni and um, I kind of seen them talk about other students work and they were pretty harsh about it so when I found out that they were going to be my teacher um, 
for a small portion in my third year. I was a bit scared, but uh, they actually weren't too bad. Um, and I think they did like my glitter series, which was good. I think they were kind of more harsh when they didn't really like um, someone's work. Um, but yeah, it wasn't actually that bad. So yeah, I've been pretty lucky to not have any horrible experiences with teachers. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I think that is all from me today. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel either. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And in a couple of weeks time, my videos should be going back to normal because I'm still on holidays at the moment. Um, but I am getting closer to the end of my holiday. So yeah, that is all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Probably the easiest um, angle to draw, but you know, it's always good to challenge yourself and that kind of thing. So yeah. Um, and I think that's all I have to say for this video. Um,